Hey everybody, Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. How are you today? Good afternoon. Yeah, and it's a beautiful afternoon where we happen to be uh, resting for a couple of days. Yes. On our on our travels back down south. On our journey. On our journey. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a, a friend's place that's just outside of uh, Jackson, Mississippi. And it's just beautiful here. Uh, they have a beautiful uh, place here with a gorgeous tall stand of pine trees everywhere absolutely beautiful yeah and it's super quiet listen at that listen isn't that awesome it is totally cool <laughs> totally cool <laughs> but uh we will be hitting a road the road again tomorrow and our plans have changed, changed. uh kind of out of necessity uh and we're going to go into it here right quick yes. right yes first off though i do want to say our new weight distribution hitch did, did wonderfully wonderful. yes. yes yeah and i'll show you that right quick i've got the trailer i didn't even bother to unhook the trailer we simply jacked it up a little bit so that uh, we could get the trailer level four and aft and the climate here is really nice and we're not having to use the mini split at all so we didn't even bother to uncover it but this is how we travel with it covered and underneath this which you can't see is a uh, piece of foam board insulation that we have up against that and then this uh, cover which is a generator cover is what that is happens to fit just right over it and keeps it nice and well protected as we're going down the road but this uh, weight distribution hitch really made a huge difference man the trailer just towed like a dream I probably still have to do just a little bit of fine tuning on the setup but we've got it awful close to where it needs to be but anyway working out really really well come on over here Deb and then of course here's the trailer and she's just sitting real nice and pretty and everything that we did on the inside if you want to step on inside everything we did on the inside held up real good of course we got it uh, quickly set up so we can uh, you know set up housekeeping here for the couple of days that we're here but I'm sure we are seeing photos right now but uh, when we got the refrigerator all packed out the way we needed to and you also some of the stuff that you were afraid that was gonna gonna fall and break you put them in one of these red totes inside the here, fridge yeah inside the fridge and that yeah. protected all that and then of course uh, once you did that then you went ahead and uh, stretched the bungee cords around the fridge to hold the door yes. shut everything rode perfectly well Not it worked a bit of trouble. great to move the couch yeah. in front of the fridge and the bikes fit on each side of right. it and bungee cord those down yeah. And it and then the steps of course slid right inside and everything rode really well. Yeah, it, it worked out very, very well, a lot better than we thought. Yes. In fact, on our first run from Rogers to a small campground on the eastern side of uh, Little Rock, you had forgot to dump the water bowl. Delilah's yes, Delilah's water bowl. water bowl. I forgot to dump it. <laughs> and and you know, and it's right there. In fact, Delilah is making use of uh, her water and food bowl right now. And what did you find when we got to the it next It still had water in it. I figured I'd have water all over yeah. the floor because yeah. I had not dumped it. And right. uh, so that was that was cool. Yeah. And of course, we had bungee cords stretched across all of these and held all those in place. Uh, of course, she took her peacock down. Took the peacock down, the took the TV down. Mm -hmm. um, the bathroom sink is not installed yet, so I laid it on the bed yeah. just to be cautious. And of course, the microwave and toaster oven fit nicely in the love seat. Yeah. So that was all good. And the coffee pot and the Berkey both went in the sink. Mm -hmm. So it all went pretty fast all, and pretty good. Yeah, it didn't take long at all to get ready to go. No, and, not really. And everything rode well, well, real well. And since we've discovered how smooth things ride up front, now we've got some better ideas about how we'll be able to go ahead and secure the appliances on the pedestals on either side and not have to worry about them because everything rode so well so right we'll probably have something uh rigged up for that before too awful long i'm hoping right? yeah <laughs> the only problem that we had in the entire trip uh so far which we did in two legs was we didn't have any bungee cord stretched across the tower here at the back and you had uh, one tote that popped out is that one right? tub fell to the floor uh -huh. uh, thankfully it was a tub that had 
shoes in it, my shoes. Uh-huh. So, but that made us decide, you know, we're going to have to do something different there. But um, everything else back there, of course, I took the shower curtain down. I put the shower handle, laid it in the floor. And, um, but everything handled pretty well. Yeah, real pleased with how everything worked. Mm -hmm. Nothing broke. Nothing inside broke or anything. <laughs> you know, I was just, and my wine glasses even stayed put with the little bunch yeah. of water. And I have yeah. not removed it yet because we're at a friend's house and we're not drinking wine. Not drinking wine. <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I think we're out. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> That's the only reason why I know that uh, yeah. you wouldn't be sipping on any wine. But. Yes. Are you ready to talk about the but? Yeah, I'm ready to okay. talk about that. I, Bill, of course, is, is driving, and Bill, of course, is watching the mirrors, and I looked in the passenger side rear view mirror, not rear view, but, you know, door yeah. mirror, whatever you call those, <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, there's something flapping back there, and my first thought was that the generator cover had come off of the mini split. That's what I thought, too. And was flapping. And so then I get to looking a little closer, and I said, no, it's not the cover. You've got to pull over. I have no idea what this thing is flapping in the wind. So we were on 49, I-49. Traffic was zoom, zoom, We haven't zoom, been on the road. <laughs> we haven't been on the road 40 minutes. No. No. Probably not. No. And he and finally if, found a spot to pull over. Well, it wasn't the best spot in the world, but we pulled over. The traffic in... Uh, Northwest Arkansas is, you might as well be in Birmingham, Alabama yeah, it was, now. It's, it's, it was, yeah. Anyway, we pulled over to the side of the road, got out. And the skin oh my goodness. had come loose on the front side door and was just flapping in the wind. And the only thing that was holding it in was place the door latch. was the door latch itself. And that was it. So let's step out here and show them. Go ahead and step on out, babe. And we'll show them how we ended up traveling the rest of the way well we're still traveling we're this still way. traveling this and way <laughs> it's going to be that way for a little bit yeah so anyway let me swing this door back this way this is how we're traveling now <laughs> the only thing holding that metal was this right here yeah and bill was able to just twist it and bend it and tear it off of there mm-hmm if that had come loose with all the traffic, oh wow! It could have caused a major accident. Yes. Could have hurt somebody. Could have been horrible. We're <laughs> thankful that we happened to see it, and then of course the rest of the time we were concerned about the skin coming off of this door over here. Well, I was yeah. worried about this styrofoam coming off. Yeah, that too. Because it's glued. Uh huh. Um, but of course the panel was glued yeah. too. <laughs> but. Come over here, babe. But uh, the first opportunity we had to call Rock Solid Cargo was this morning. Was this morning, and this is what day is today? Tuesday. Um, oh Lord, why do you? Ask I've me lost. These questions? I, I think it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <sighs> we left on Sunday. Left on Sunday. This and, happened on Sunday. Right. Spent the first night Sunday night down yeah. by Little Rock. And then we came on in here to Mississippi yesterday. Yeah. So this is so anyway, Tuesday. <laughs> I called up and talked to uh, Rock Solid, and they put me in touch with uh, with the warranty. I, I guess he's the warranty manager. His name's Wade. Awesome guy. Fabulous guy. And told him what had happened. And I said, I've got pictures that I can send to you if you need me to. And he said, no, that's not necessary. And he told me, he said, well, we're going to go ahead and replace the door and which was awesome yes and you know because yes. i was you know i was a little yeah, concerned a little but, worried. you know even though there is warranty and all this stuff you know i thought well and then i as we uh talked more i said well quite honestly wade i'm a little concerned about uh, door number two on the trailer because when you tap on it it sounds like it's not stuck real good to the door too the skin doesn't sound like it's stuck real good to the door too so then I have concerns that maybe this could happen, even though we replaced the front door, we could still have something like that happen to the second door. And he said, we're going to replace them both. Yay. No discussion whatsoever. <laughs> so now we've got to work out, since we're not going to be very far from Douglas, we did go ahead and cancel a reservation that we had at a campground in Alabama. 
and we're gonna go ahead and head to the uh, undisclosed location breaking our own rule by yeah. traveling seven to eight yeah hours we're gonna we're gonna do a beeline trip it's gonna be about a seven hour run uh, so we can get to the undisclosed location uh, but once we're there we will be uh, a lot closer to uh, the uh, the factory in Douglas Georgia right and we have two options I can run up and pick up the doors myself which would be a nice day trip for me and Deb and then I can install them myself when we get back to the undisclosed location or uh, well that would be easier on Delilah it would be easier on Delilah <laughs> but. or <laughs> or we can just uh, keep the trailer hooked up and after the Thanksgiving holiday this weekend just go ahead and make a run up there with the trailer they talk like it wouldn't take long to swap the doors out and we should be able to get back to the undisclosed location hopefully before dark hopefully before dark uh, and and be all set back up again fortunately at this spot that we're gonna be at it's nice and level we don't even have to worry about unhooking and all we have to do is basically pull in, hook up the water and the power, and we're in business. So, right. you know, and it's a hiccup. Yes, it's yes. a hiccup. Was but, it scary? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was but, it like, oh my gosh? <laughs> we are we are thankful for the fact that we caught it soon enough. Yes. Uh, I went ahead and ripped it off, and we carried it with us for a while until we found a place to dispose of the skin. Yes. And we're thankful for the way they treated us we can't say enough good things about rock solid i did ask him uh to make sure that the new doors they replaced it with try to make sure that those were you know the skin was stuck good on both sides on that and he said that they would and he also said what they've started doing as well now is they put a extra bead of caulk around the trim when they put the skin on to uh to uh you know make sure something like this doesn't happen again so we've all learned something from this yes. haven't we yes but here again uh would i buy another trailer from rock solid cargo if i decide to do another one which we're not but if we were would i buy another trailer like this other project that i have in my mind right now uh yes we would but we would not buy another trailer <laughs> if if for some reason deb was on a week-long vacation and and wasn't around and i decided to buy another trailer for another project it's fine <laughs> you can build out another trailer i'm gonna sit in the shade drinking lemonade that's okay i ain't helping a bit y'all are my witnesses <laughs> oh heavens but without a doubt i would go back to rock solid no questions you know no concerns no nothing i would go right back and buy another one from them again so there you go there y'all yeah now we probably will do a video about uh, whichever way we decide to go, whether we install the doors ourselves or take the trailer up there and have them do it. We will shoot a video of that, you know, and we'll keep you posted on that and how everything goes. But uh, anyway, thought it was interesting. Thought it's something that y'all might like to know about. And all I can say is uh, these are awesome folks there at Rock Solid Cargo. That's all there is to it. Yeah. They, they were falling all over themselves trying to figure out how to get this, uh, this situation uh, rectified for Deb and I. And, boy, we appreciate that. Anyway, that's it for now, right? Yes. I'm hungry. It's about supper time. Yeah. Uh, our friends are going to take us to a seafood buffet place around here that seafood everybody raves about. And Deb and seafood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> y'all take care. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what we always say. We're not camping. We're living. You all get out there and do some living yourself, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.